out here at the NRI Whittington Center in uh, near Raton, New Mexico. We come out here shooting every year, but I particularly like to shoot some long range stuff out here. And that's why I brought this Weatherby Mark V in the new uh, 6.5 300 Weatherby cartridge, which is really a screamer of a cartridge. It's a really hot 6.5 long range shooting cartridge. It's a, it used a 127 grain bullet, Barnes LRX bullet, which is really streamlined, got a great ballistic coefficient. It leaves the muzzle of this uh, Mark V at over 3,500 feet per second. Really flat shooting. If you sight in for 300 yards, uh, halfway there, you're never more than three inches high, and you're only 18 inches low at 500 yards. So it's a really great shooting cartridge. It's a, a recoil is not that bad, but it's a neck down 300 Weatherby cartridge with a 6.5 millimeter bullet in it. It's just a, a dandy cartridge that barn bullet I've used those before in the 257 Weatherby and other cartridges from 3030 on up. Does a great job on game. They always expand. They always penetrate. It's really good. So this rifle, we're going to do some long range shooting out here with it. Uh, it's got some nice features to it. It's got the uh, synthetic stock, nicely textured. Got Weatherby's trademark high cheek piece. And one thing that does, if you get a, a rifle that recoils a lot, the way Weatherby does that cheek piece, it recoils away from your face instead of into it. It also raises the comb up here and puts your eye right behind that scope. The scope on here is a 30 millimeter tube. It's a Trijicon 5 to 20 adjustable, really nice. Got a mill dot reticle in it and it's really great for long range shooting stuff. So I like to bring a scope like that when I come out here shooting uh, long range stuff and we'll do some more uh, fine tuning group shooting when we get back to Tennessee with it, but out here, it's strictly for long range. We're gonna shoot it out to about 800 yards on steel and other targets, and uh, just have a lot of fun with it. We'll give you a full report on it. We'll get this back, see how she shoots out here, see how she shoots on paper at home, and uh, it's a really nice rifle, available now from uh, Weatherby. One thing about the NRA Whittington Center, I wanna say something about it while we're out here. Been coming out here for years. They got some great long range stuff. You can shoot the, you can shoot on steel out there. They got a buffalo at 1125 yards. I like shooting it every year. But one thing I like about shooting out here long range, it's relatively dry and uh, you can spot your misses, walk in to your target if you need to, sighting something in long range. So it's a great facility. They got sporting clays, they got handgun, they got silhouette shooting, whatever you want. Uh, it's uh, no other facility like it that I know of anywhere. Uh, any NRA member can come out here and shoot. It's out near Raton, New Mexico. They got thousands of acres. They got elk hunting out here. Uh, certain times of year, you can do that. But we're standing here. It's a, in a historical place here in New Mexico. It's up at high elevation, around 7,000 feet. So the weather's just perfect. Not too hot, not too cold. We're standing here now where you can see the sign behind us. This is where the historic Santa Fe Trail crosses this part of New Mexico. And uh, so we're here. It's got a lot of history in this area. A lot of great food. Come out here if you want some green chili which is a new mexico thing this is the place to get it but anyway we enjoy coming out here every year an organization called the shooters which is a fine organization i'm proud to be part of and we just uh, do a lot of shooting a lot of fellowship and a lot of good time but uh today we're working and we're working with this new weatherby mark 5. right here today shooting a dandy rifle it's a weatherby acumark uh, in the new cartridge that they've got it's a 6.5 300. what they basically did was neck down the 300 uh Weatherby case to 6.5 or 264 diameter, you know, uh, 6.5 meter popular cartridge for a long time. And what they've got now is the hottest 6.5 on the market right now. Um, it pushes this 127 grain Barnes LRX bullet, which I'll show you here. I've got an expanded one and an unfired one. Pushes this 127 grain bullet at about 3,590 feet per second uh, off the muzzle here at my range. Uh, uh, whether we list the muzzle velocity at, uh, let's see here, they listed at 3531, so I was beating that by a little bit. Also, it's very flat shooting. It's as flat shooting as the 257 Weatherby, which has been one of my favorite cartridges for a long time, but it's got 60% more bullet weight on target and a uh, larger diameter bullet. So it's a really nice rifle. It's an excellent cartridge. You know, it, uh, it beats the legendary 264 Winchester Magnum by about 300 feet per second or so with any given bullet weight. Now, uh, Weatherby has three different bullet weights in factory cartridges they have for these. I only had the 127 grain here and I see no reason for nothing else. That bullet will work for anything that I need to shoot uh, up to including elk 
won't be a problem at all. That Barnes bullet always penetrates, it always expands. Now this uh, Mark V action has been around, Whether it's a little bit older than I am. Weatherby brought this out in 1958. I wasn't brought out to 59, but it's an excellent action, it's a very strong action. It's got a 60 degree bolt lift, so it's a low bolt lift. Your knuckles ain't dragging on your scope. What's the scope on here, by the way? I'm using this Trijicon 5 to 20 power uh, because I just brought this rifle back from uh, the NRA Whittington Center out in Raton, New Mexico, where I was shooting out there. I shot out to, uh, uh, well, past 1,200 yards at rocks and such, but on steel, I shot out to 800 yards. This rifle group under Men in the Vango out to 800 yards. At 600 yards and 800 yards, well under Men in the Vango, uh, three shot groups at those distances using a Weatherby factor ammo and they guarantee that kind of accuracy out of these rifles. Here on the range I was shooting up on my 100 yard range back home I was shooting up on paper to get groups see how I'd done. My largest group was 5 eighths of an inch my smallest group was 3 eighths of an inch. So it's very consistent really shoots accurately out of this 26 inch fluted barrel on here. It's got a nice uh, uh, fiberglass laid up uh, stock on here. It's got an excellent trigger on this thing. It's adjustable down to two and a half pounds. Really crisp. Works really well. I like it. Just about right on a rifle like this. Of course it's got the Weatherby's trademark cheek piece here. And what that does, you know, a lot of stocks are straight or even uh, have a negative uh, picture on them right there. This cheek piece, one thing it does is it gets your eye up behind the scope without raising your head off the stock. And the second thing it does, the rifle recoils away from your face instead of into it. With the Weatherby, you're not going to get your cheeks hit like you will, um, like you smarted off to your wife or something, or shooting a straight stock heavy recoil rifle. By the way, the recoil on this is not bad at all. It's a, uh, it's, it's a loud thing because they pretty much neck down a can of powder and put a 6.5 bullet in it, but it really works well. The extraction's easy, um, had no sticky extraction, no misfires, 100% reliable, fed from the magazine just fine. I think they call it the three shot magazine. I was able to get four in there, plus the one in the chamber give you five and they fed just fine. So I can call it the four shot. Uh, works really well with these fat weatherby cases. They extract well, they shoot well, they're accurate, they're reliable, they're weatherby, they're made in California. And uh, just an excellent rifle. You know, when you, sometimes you just wanna, if you wanna get the best, you can't go wrong with a weatherby. Thirty-five seventy-two, right where we wanted it.